Greetings ladies and gentlemen, today video I'm going to answer in question 1. You will have a nozzle at the inlet, uh, the pressure will be 300 Kelvin, uh, 300 kPa, the temperature will be 200 degrees C, the velocity of the fluid that will be 30 meter per second, and the area that will be 18 centimeter cube, uh, 18 centimeter square, and it is equal to 8 times by 10 the power of negative 3 meter square. At the outlet, they have a pressure about 100 kPa and the velocity 180 meter per second. So the fluid that we were dealing with, it is in the form of an air. So it is a gas essentially. So we've been asking, what is the mass flow rate through the nozzle? This, this, this device, we call it as a uh, nozzle so I'm gonna make an analysis at the inlet because um, we're gonna use this formula rho VA so in the inlet the question already given all of the information that we need so that's why I make an analysis at the inlet uh, but anyway since that the rho or the density of the air at the initial condition or the inlet, it doesn't state in the question. So we can, uh, we can find out uh, by this formula. Since that we were dealing with a gas, so we can use a gas constant equation, P V bar. In here, it is illustrated as specific volume equal to R T. R in here, it is a gas constant for the air and the temperature. So for the gas constant, the value for the air will be 0.287. You can retrieve the value from table A2, thermodynamic table. You go to the row of air, gas constant, uh, there will be 0.2870 oh, in the form of kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So that's why uh, the temperature in here we want, to, we want to know what is the specific volume, so we need to transfer the pressure to the other side. So the formula will be specific volume equal to RT over by P. The temperature you need to convert into Kelvin. It is because we were dealing with a temperature at a gas constant in the form of Kelvin. So you need to times it by 473.15. You, you can get the value from 200 degrees C, convert into Kelvin, and 300 kPa. Right there, and you will get 0.45 meter cube per kg. So that is the specific volume. Now, if you take a look upon the unit of specific volume, that will be meter cube per kg. If we power this specific volume by negative one, we will get kg per meter cube, aka it is a density of the fluid at the inlet. So 0.45 times by uh, the power of negative 1 times by 13 times by 8 times by 10 the power of negative 3 you will get the specific volume for the fluid in the inlet make sure that the unit of the uh, the unit of the area must be in SI otherwise you will get the wrong answer question B asking what is the as it temperature of the air we can know what is the temperature by the enthalpy because if you take a look at the A17 table which is a table for uh, air property there is a relationship between enthalpy and temperature if we know what is the enthalpy at the outlet we can know what is the temperature. So we know that the uh, the, the the system were in uh, conserved. So it's mean the energy in equal to energy out. Energy in it is equal to uh, PV plus by U plus by KE stand for kinetic energy plus by potential energy equal to uh, those energy at the outlet. We can simplify this equation even more by transform PV plus by U equal to enthalpy. So you will have enthalpy 1 that stand for inlet and enthalpy 2 stand for 
enthalpy at the outlet. So you can simplify this equation into enthalpy 1 plus by kinetic energy at the inlet plus by potential energy in the inlet equal to enthalpy 2 plus by kinetic energy at the outlet plus by potential energy at the outlet. Since that this system there is no elevation so potential energy can be uh, neglect. So PE equal to for both sides 0. So this equation can be simplified into enthalpy 1 plus by kinetic energy 1 equal to enthalpy 2 plus by kinetic energy 2. So final simplification of this equation which is that we're going to use in the calculation it will be enthalpy 2. I'm going to remake uh, it because it's not clear right there. Enthalpy 2 equal to enthalpy 1 plus by Ke at the inlet minus by Ke in the outlet. We know that the kinetic energy, uh, if you take a look closely upon the equation, the H, there will be a bar above it. It is mean uh, in my method, I'm indicated as a in the form of specific. So that's why when we're talking about kinetic energy, the, co the, the, the conventional equation of kinetic energy, there will be half V square. But because uh, this energy were in specific, so we cancel out the value of mass and leave this equation by half V square. So there you can have it V square over by 2 in the inlet plus by V square over by 2 at the outlet. So the enthalpy 2, our mission is to find out the enthalpy 2 so that we can find the temperature from the table. So we know that the V1 and V2, they've been given from the question, so we don't know what is enthalpy 1. Enthalpy 1, we can find out from the table. We can we need to use the interpolation. From the table A17, we can get the interpolation relationship between the temperature and the enthalpy. The initial temperature will be 473.15 in the form of Kelvin. Remember, you need to deal with a Kelvin. So that's why you need to convert the temperature into Kelvin. 473.15, you make interpolation, you will get uh, enthalpy, specific enthalpy at the inlet. There will be 475.47 kilojoule per kg right there. So, you transfer this equation into this uh, equation right there. So, you will get 459.720 kilojoule per kg. So, that is the enthalpy at the second condition. So, you make an, another interpolation, the relation between temperature and the enthalpy. T2, it is something in between 416 and 415. This is from table A7 also. And you make an interpolation, you will get 457.75 Kelvin. You convert into degree, it will be 184.6 degree C, close to 185 degree C. So that is the answer for the question. Uh, B, question C asking the exit area of the nozzle. So we're going to use uh, this equation. Mass flow rate in equal to mass flow rate out. We know that the mass flow rate in equal to 0.45 times by uh, the, uh, the, the unit of meter cube per kg equal to mass flow rate out. Mass flow rate out equal to rho VA. Now, uh, what is the value of rho or density at the outlet? We can find out by the gas constant equation. PV equal to MRT. So the value of R will be constant 0.287 times by the temperature at the outlet, which is in the form of Kelvin, 457.75 
over by rails pressure at the outlet which is an 100 kPa so you will get the specific volume 1.31 in the form of meter cube per kg that is the specific volume now you power up uh, power this value by negative 1 you will get the density so rho VA equal to 0.53 you want to know what is the area you need to transfer this value into the other side thus you will get 0.53 over by 1.31 which is the specific volume the power of negative 1 so you get the density times by the velocity that will be 118 uh, meter per second so you will get 3.857 times by 10 the power of negative 3 because all of the unit were in SI this area that will be in the form of meter square if you convert meter square into centimeter you will get approximately equal to 38.6 centimeter cube so that will be the closely upon the answer given so if you did have any curiosity about uh, why did in the equation PV equal to RT the value of K right here I'm not include upon uh, the uh, equation and if you want to know uh, a deeper understanding about a specific volume how can we get a specific volume in a form of kilo in a form of meter cube per kg from this equation you can check out my another video so i think that's all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye